come with me? Hi guys, JB Dolan here, or Dolan Films, or Magic J Road, or whatever the hell you're gonna call me, I don't fucking know. And welcome to a new little series that I'm gonna do on Railroads Online, playing on the new Aurora Falls map. I want to do a complete playthrough of this game, and I'm hoping to get started here soon, really. Um, I do want to plan for a rail yard, so... Uh, what I'm thinking is, is we do, we just do a simple rail yard. We get a shed put in, like, right here in this area. We get a shed put in over here. And there's that, that's loud. Anyways, but so, our locomotive that we've got here today is a Montezuma. It's probably not steamed. Oh, it is steamed up. And then we'll put your brake on just to have you like that. We'll put a we'll put a we'll conjoin these three tracks. Probably send it off in that direction. Make a little rail yard right here. Just a little something just to just to really get our stuff together. So let's get started on that. What I think we're gonna do we're gonna do some regular three foot rail. Just gonna send it out towards here. And yeah, line them up as much as possible. Maybe. Didn't want to open the help menu, but for those who don't know what Railroads Online is, it's a by now you've had to have heard of this game. This this game's been around for a long, and I mean a long time. You're looking at maybe three, four years. We'll have a connection to the other side of the depot, but we're just going for something simple. And another curve. I like that. Now we want to... That new, that, the new UI function. Seems like it'll be pretty handy. There we go. Now we can put that direction off towards our rail yard. First. That's a little sharp. So what we do is... That seems like it'll work. There we go. That'll get us something more. 
not more simple. So put that there. There. There we go. So there's a little bit of something. Now, if I really wanted to, could I put a engine house here? I could. We got an engine shed. So maybe what we'll do is this is where we'll put our engine shed. So that's not going to work. Now this might actually try this out.
less sharp of a curve. And there you go! Now... Made myself a nice little cozy rail yard. Not sure how. I'll probably just end this in the buffers for now. Did they finally? No, they didn't put groundwork with it. Oh well. And then. We'll create a run out track just just long enough. I have a hard time remembering which buttons for what. So this game. Alright, so there's a buffer stop. I'm not gonna worry about putting one at the end of the yard. We also do need to buy a snow plow once ever we make it to tier three. Let's go ahead. Put links and pins in these so we can put these in the yard. I love the echo sounds that come out of the valley here. They're beautiful. Makes it feel atmospheric. Oh, and there's the Aurora Borealis. The UI is something I do very much love.
Oh, and it does the light glow on the rails too. That's cool as shit. Put those in the shed. Now, if I switch this, will it derail the tender? Oh. Open the doors. We're going to back the Montezuma in. out for tonight and then let's get some let's get a facility in here we need at least a firewood facility Perfect. There's a firewood depot to fill up the engines. And then I'm gonna place a wood rick next to it just for looks. Back by the freight depot, we're gonna build a town. Won't be in this episode though. We do need to. We do need to. Good facilities. We don't need any of those. We have a telegraph office. Okay, so we got things that we need. We don't really need a sand house at the moment because sand doesn't really do anything in the game just yet. I'm hoping they do decide they want to. Add that at some point. But I do. I do want to add it. It's kind of nice that here they give you options. Props. And then we'll get 
barrel. Passenger station here. That's what we got going on. Oops. Box. This is the side where you pick up the freight. Chimney. Then. I'll run them next to here, and then we'll have a neat little station. Alright, and I think that's going to be it for this episode. Very happy with how the rail yard's turned out so far. It feels... Call me. It, it, it feels good. And then we gotta get some wood delivered so we have a firewood facility. These tracks seem a little sharp. I haven't ran the Montezuma by it yet, so who knows, but... I think J hints. Yeah, J is the hints. But anyways, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this episode of Railroads Online, and I hope to see y'all next time. Goodbye!